It's a clash of the titans as we have four full-sized SUVs. We have the 2019 updated Ford Endeavour, the segment leader Toyota Fortuner, the Isuzu MU-X which received an update five months ago and the new kid on the block, the Mahendra Alturas G4. There are a couple of things that these four SUVs have in common. First and foremost, they all are based on the ladder frame chassis. That means they are rigid and can take punishment when they venture out off-roading. Even though the Ford Endeavour offers plenty of off-road modes, the other three are equipped with low-range gearbox. Now, all the four are priced in the range of 30 to 35 lakhs. So the question arises, is the Fortuner the automatic choice or does the Endeavour offer a balance option? Keep in mind, Isuzu builds bulletproof diesel engines. Therefore, is the MUX the way to go? Or are you ready to pay 30 lakhs for a Mahindra? Now we will test these SUVs at this off-road track. Now we'd like to mention one thing, that the Fortuna media car was not available for this shoot. Therefore, we have a privately owned SUV with us. Now we will not shoot this car at the track, but as we have tested the Fortuna before at this track, we will show you how it actually behaves. After driving the Alturas, I was really impressed by the 2.2 litre engine which is really refined and on top of that provides a linear pickup. You just don't feel the turbo lag. But what was slightly disappointing was the harsh ride quality. The stiff suspension would be very uncomfortable for the passengers inside. Even though visually the Endeavour has an imposing road presence, it's the Alturas which is the longest, the widest and the tallest SUV in this lineup. But having said that, the Alturas has a very unique problem. It has a high floor and a low roof, which means that the six-foot occupants run short of headroom, especially at the back. But what makes the Alturas stand out is its upmarket cabin with quilted leather upholstery and good build quality and fit finish. Now the Alturas may not be as well equipped as the Endeavour, but it does bring in some segment firsts, such as its 360-degree parking camera, electrically adjustable driver's seat with three memory settings and nine airbags. We also liked the steering wheel as it provided plenty of feedback, but the overall driving experience was a bit of a letdown due to harsh ride quality. The ladder frame chassis gives the Alturas good off-road credibility. It feels fairly confident off the road despite not having locking diffs. Now coming to the third row, it offers plenty of width, but the seed squap lacks under thigh support as they are very low. Also, as the Alturas has a thick C pillar, it can get quite claustrophobic for the passengers. Now the Isuzu is the oldest among the four SUVs that we have today, but the 3 litre engine is a gem and it is mated with a 5 speed torque converter. I know it doesn't sound as sophisticated as the other SUVs, but what it actually does is reduces the turbo lag. Therefore, it is a very good vehicle both for the city as well as on the highway. The MUX's cabin design is simple and minimalistic. Isuzu has tried to spruce up the cabin with the use of soft leather, but again, limited in the frills department. But one can't find any flaws when it comes to solid built interiors that will last. The eyesore has to be the outdated infotainment system. The Isuzu continues to impress on the road as it has the best ride quality among all the SUVs here. Its suspension setup, meanwhile, ensures that the least amount of suspension movement is transferred to the body and it easily dismisses potholes. The MUX scores well on the off-road front too, as its otherwise light steering wheel becomes quite laden with feel the moment you engage four-wheel drive. Isuzu's powertrain magic becomes apparent once again here as any throttle pedal input results in very accurate wheel movements giving you fantastic confidence while tackling off-road obstacles. Another thing that surprised us was that the MUX has the second most spacious middle row thanks to the accommodating wide shoulder room. It offers plenty of knee room and gets comfortable and supportive seats. Also when it comes to headroom, there's plenty of it. 
The third row on the other hand gets armrests and the seats offer good under thigh support. But as the second row seats don't slide, this eats into the third row's legroom. Toyota has gone the comfort way with the Fortuner. Now the upholstery is all leather and the seats are also comfortable. But if you take a closer look at the plastics, they are hard and do come out a little bit cheap. Also, the infotainment system gets an 8-inch screen, which is quite intuitive. But sadly, it does not come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Fortuner remains the benchmark when it comes to durability and reliability. At the same time, it also ensures unbelievable low running costs and mouth-watering resale prices. Furthermore, the Fortuner is offered with the widest range of powertrain options, which makes it even more appealing. The unit we tested was the diesel manual with a 2.8-litre 174bhp engine that is the freest revving unit on the list, although some of that is down to the 6-speed manual gearbox. When you put the engine in power mode, the Fortuner feels quite powerful and the way it gains speed is quite alarming considering the sheer size of the thing. The light clutch pedal and the short throw gearbox make this version of the Fortuner quite engaging to drive. This level of driver engagement makes the off-road experience in the Fortuner by far the most involving as you have total control over power modulation and get a greater sense of traction and overall control while off-roading. On the flip side, the Fortuner has the bumpiest ride among all of the SUVs here and it falls short of the Endeavour and the Alturas in terms of equipment. Despite the fact that there's a lot of leather in the cabin, the plastics and the switchgear feel tacky. But you still know it's well built and will last forever. Even though the Fortuner has the shortest wheelbase in this SUV lineup, it offers the most spacious third row. Now the secret behind this is that it gets reclining seats but as the roof line is low the third row feels cramped and seats aren't the best as they are flat and don't offer any under thigh support also with dark interiors the cabin as a whole feels a lot more smaller and tighter than it actually is The Ford Endeavour continues to have a very rich interiors and on top of that, it is the only SUV which comes with a huge panoramic view. The Endeavour provides decent space at the third row, but unfortunately, getting in and out is a big problem because the second row only slides and doesn't fold. The facelift Endeavour now gets a new front grille, a new set of alloys and keyless entry with an engine start-stop button. This means that the Endeavour remains up to date in terms of features and is the best equipped vehicle in its class. But what makes the Endeavour stand out is its integrated active noise cancellation feature that makes the cabin silent. The Endeavour feels very refined under normal driving conditions and the suspension on this updated model seems to be slightly more comfortable than the previous one. Meanwhile, it's the 3.2-litre 5-cylinder turbo diesel engine that continues to offer excellent drivability. Talking of off-road credentials, well, this is the only SUV that comes with locking rear differential and is also equipped with terrain management system that electronically varies throttle inputs to the wheels for better traction. Believe it or not, the Endeavour's second row feels slightly cramped as the shoulder room is limited when compared to the MUX. As mentioned earlier, the Endeavour comes with a huge panoramic roof, which unfortunately eats into the second row's headroom. All in all, there's plenty of room in the cabin and the seats are quite comfortable. The quality levels also feel good and the cabin as a whole is well designed and feels premium. Coming to safety, the Endeavour now comes with 6 airbags as a standard feature, while the Titanium Plus versions get 7 airbags, along with a host of other features such as hands-free tailgate operation. So after testing these 4 SUVs at this off-road track, we finally found the answers to what we are looking at. Now let's start with the MUX first. 
Now it is all about being simplistic and utilitarian. That doesn't mean that it doesn't have the power. The three liter engine, which is mated with a five speed torque converter, ensures that there is enough power and it negates the turbo lag as well. Another thing that goes in the MUX's favor is the ride quality. It is among the best out of the four. It is slightly on the softer side, but when it comes to taking on potholes in the road, it easily cushions them without any problems at all. The passengers inside the cabin have a very comfortable ride. The MUX also offers substantial space in the third row and two adults can comfortably sit. Toyota has gone the bling way as the Fortuner now comes with slim LED projector headlamps and a huge chrome nose. The Fortuner's 2.8 litre engine offers plenty of low end torque which ensures that it is easy to drive in the city. The Alturus is a surprise package as the 2.2 litre engine is extremely refined and it also offers a linear pickup and negates any sort of turbo lag. The cabin on the other hand is class leading thanks to its quilted leather seats which is extremely comfortable and supportive. Now coming to the ride, unfortunately it is quite stiff and every time you go over a pothole you can feel the thud. Therefore, the ride quality is slightly uncomfortable. So the winner of our comparison is the Ford Endeavour which is the most balanced SUV in this lineup. Now not only does it offer a commanding road presence but also has a very comfortable cabin. On top of that, it offers noise cancellation for the cabin that ensures that outside noise cannot penetrate. It also has the most powerful engine, the 3.2 litre, which offers a lot of grunt but it also suffers from some initial turbo lag. All in all, the Ford Endeavour is both confident off and on the road.